Ow. Ow, what did I just do? <laughs> hey, what's up O2L, it's Connor. I decided to take this week's video outside. I really don't know why, it's just kinda nice out. But there are people over there, so if you hear noises, blame them! Not me. But anyway, so this week on O2O, we are doing top 10 week. What we are going to be doing is bringing you guys some lists of top 10 things, blank stuff, lists, stuff, things. That palm tree is really pretty, and so is those flowers. I'ma show you. Uh, look. Aw, look at it, it's beautiful. So well, this week I'll be talking about the top 10 turnoffs that I have. And basically these turnoffs are directed towards like the human race, not just a specific gender. Like if I meet a person that does one of these things, I'm just, turned off like I just don't like that person that much but you know whatever let's get into the list gotta get my iPhone out cuz I can't remember them all over that number one if a person can't hold an interesting conversation a big part about life is communicating and if you cannot be interesting when you're communicating with another person it's a turnoff people aren't gonna like if you can't communicate with them it's not fun it's Boring. Number two, a lack of ambition. This is a big one for me. There's a plane flying by. One thing about our house, there's planes that always fly by and it ruins our videos. Yeah, if you're not dedicated to certain things, you don't feel passion towards doing something, it's just not a good thing. You've got to be ambitious and you've really got to want to do something with your life. <laughs> there's bugs around here. <laughs> Number three, people who do not stand up for what they believe in. Everyone has opinions and everyone has a right to those opinions. And if someone is speaking down upon something that you do not think is right, you should stand up for that. Don't be afraid to stand up for what you believe in. Number four, people who are self-conscious about acting stupid or goofy in public. So let's set the scene. Say you're at a dance and oh my God, a dance circle just formed. If you are too afraid to go in the middle of that dance circle, I don't like that. You need to be able to act stupid, act silly, act goofy sometimes in your life. So basically, if you take things too seriously, I don't like that. There's a time and place to act serious, but life is short and you need to goof off sometimes. Number five, people who are messy, sloppy, and unorganized. This could be just a personal one for me, but I hate it. Like, of course, I'm okay with it if you're not like a neat freak, but I just don't like when people cannot get their sh together. Pick up after yourselves. Use your iPhone calendar. I don't know. Just get your sh together. Number six, people who fish for compliments. It turns me off so much when someone's like, oh, I'm so ugly today. I'm just, I'm so ugly today. I look hideous. I look hideous, don't I? When they're really thinking, oh, just tell me I'm pretty. Tell me I'm pretty. Calm the f down. Freaking annoying when people fish for compliments. I hate it. Number seven, people who use racial slurs. I see this a lot on the internet more than in person. I hate when people use the N word or like the F word or anything that revolves around someone's race or sexuality. It's so annoying and it turns me off so much and so quickly. It kind of has become almost like a joke to say those words when it's just like that's that is offensive. I find that very offensive and I'm really good about paying attention to little details and I've noticed when I'm around people and they use some sort of racial slur and there happens to be someone of that race in the group they get offended but they're too afraid to say something about it. It's not a good thing. I do not like it. It is such a turn off and just a little side note if I see anyone do it on Twitter I will unfollow you. Yeah. Number eight people who are always negative. You guys know this about me. I'm all about the positive. Obviously there are points in your life where you will be negative. Everyone's negative at some time. But I do not like the people who constantly and purposely uh, that's not a word. Is that a word? I don't know. I don't like people who bring it up all the time. It's not attractive if you're constantly focusing on bad things in life and forgetting the good. Trust me when I say it feels so much better to just be like oh these are the good things in life those are the bad i'm gonna forget about those and pay attention to these just saying number nine two-faced people be straight forward with me if i hear about my supposed friends talking behind my back you're not actually my friend especially if it's happening like constantly be straightforward with people and stop being two-faced about it huge huge turn off and just a bad thing in general who likes a two-faced person not me not me and number 10 the biggest and most important thing on this list. My biggest turn off is when you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel or following me on Twitter. Okay, bye! And look how that list took a turn. What a plot twist! But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this semi-serious video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment below. What is your biggest turn off? It could be one of the ones I listed. It could be a completely different thing. Let me know in the comments below. Make sure to follow me on all my social media websites. The links will be below. Also, I did a video on the same lines of this. Not really. It's about relationships. I don't know. This is about turn off relationships. I don't know. They're kind of no, okay, they're not similar at all, but that will be the first link in the down bar. It's more funny, at least. But yeah, so other than that, I'm gonna go! Okay, so this week I talked about turnoffs. Everything turns me off. I don't even know turnoffs. So many turnoffs. <laughs>